On today's edition of Once Hydrated But Now Deflated, we have a Kitchler, a silly Kitchler from 2021. This is just some dumb supplement that they made. I don't know, none of the stores near me were very happy when they got this as the catalog. They were all pretty pissed, as was I. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Apparently, according to Kitchler, they told me that this is what the customers wanted. Now, for the lighting, I can see it because this goes into a lot more detail with the specs. But I looked through every single detail in this catalog and found that all the info given in here is given in these ones over here. So what the hell was the point of this? I don't know. To be the, the same as the dumb lighting. But the, the truth is... This wastes so much paper since they do an individual page for each fan. It's essentially just their spec sheets in a book. So they're kind of pulling a Matthews with that. But even Matthews quit doing that. I don't know really what Kitchler's trying to do here with this. But I'm not too happy with it. But we'll go ahead and cover it anyways. Because I don't know how easy it is to find this on their website. It's in a different place. But yeah, on the cover... We do actually have a fan I quite like, though. This is the Bram, Braham, whatever the heck it is. I don't know. I think that one actually looks pretty nice. I quite like that design. Uh, so, yeah, opening it up here. Let's get into it. So, this video would be shorter, except they, of course, blew this book way out of the water with the length. We've got a few other fans. We've got the Braham again. we got the Iris, Iris, whatever the heck, and then the Maeve. Got Fandeliers first. Now, Fandeliers Kitchler make, honestly, while they do look kind of cool, still sort of basic. I mean, the Eerie's cool. This one here is the Eerie. It's it's cool, I guess. So, yeah, here's my problem. Look, see, so you get this finish of it, and then if I can turn the page, you'll see here's the other one. Why? Why not just blow up? Look at all this extra space. Just blow up a picture of the other finishes here if, they, if multiple finishes apply. But nope, instead they do it this way, and it's, it's going to happen throughout the whole damn book, so you better be ready for it. Honestly, you'd be better off just going to their website and looking at it. It's under the supplement section. <laughs> so here we have got the Cavelli. This one, I know this design is just done so much. I mean, granted, Kitchler's made some changes, but still. I don't necessarily hate Kitchler, but... The reason why I called them once hydrated by now deflated is because they were definitely one of the top manufacturers, but my local stores aren't selling them that much anymore, so hence the name. They've gotten on top now, they've cheapened. Um, most of the fans, they get uh, one in three, I believe, are defective. So, I mean, yeah. Here we've got a Cavelli. This one is the same as the other one, actually. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting myself. Uh, I hope they put out something nice this year. If I have to deal with a big, giant book like this, I don't even know. Over here, we've got some of the regular ceiling fans here. They list them all as indoor, even though some of these might be outdoor. I think one of them at least is. First up, we have the Capono. This was among the original set before they introduced all of them, and I thought this was one of the only fans they were introducing. And Granted, it's... It's okay. I mean, it's not really my favorite, but it's okay. Here is a bra black one, not bronze. And then there's also a white one here. Then I think you can change that ring out, make it a different color, make it look pretty. This one was the other one that I first saw, which really disappointed me. It was originally this one. The Capono and then the two Fandeliers at first before they put the rest of them out. And I'm talking about the... I'm pretty sure it's Leha. I don't think the J is pronounced. This one, if you look up close to it, you'll just notice it just doesn't look really good. There's a lot of exposed screws and hardware on it. I just don't like it. I think it'd have been better off at the Lowe's collection. Here we've got a black one. And then there's also a bronze and a silver one. This is the bronze one here. Actually, is it a silver or a white one? I can't remember which one I already showed. Oh, no, it's a white one. That, But yeah, there's the white one. Now we're getting into some cooler fans, which honestly saved the intro for this year. While I'm recording this in 2021, you won't see it until 2022, but whatever. 
Here we've got the Bram. Like I said, I actually like this one. This one I really was impressed with. There's a light one. There's the brass one, which I really like. That The brass is my favorite out of all of them. I really do like brass. And here we've got a black one as well. And now, this one I also quite like. It is the Daya, Daya, whatever. I really do like the look of this fan, actually, I've got to admit. The, the st these styles are pretty good. It's just the original ones that they showed weren't very nice. But they did definitely save the intro with these ones. There's another Daya, Daya, whatever. Next up we have the Iris, or Iris. This is just another windmill style fan. I quite like it, though. It's different. It's different from some of the other ones we've seen. They've also got one called, like, the Range or something, that, where basically the, the band goes out a bit further. They sell it at Home Depot. Now, the Range may not be the actual name of it. I don't know. They're all Home Depot exclusives. Only to their website as well. Here we've got another one. They're really... Kitchener's really big into them exclusives, aren't they? Kitchener, Mink, and Fanimation are the three that do exclusives. Minka does them at Home Depot online. Kitzer does them at Lowe's in-store and online at Home Depot. And then Fanimation does them at Lowe's. Here we've got another one of the irises. She it might be Iris. I don't know. I still I still don't know, really. Up next, we have the Lydra. Now, I actually like this one. It's not actually even wet rated. It's just damp. This one's quite a unique design. I see these. I see designs like this all the time. But with the swirly wrought iron on there, um, quite like that, I haven't seen yet. So, for that reason, I really do like this fan. I really hope Mick Kitchler can um, do something I'm happy with in, next year, because I don't hate Kitchler. I, I, they used to be one of my favorites. Here we've got the Mave. This is a stainless steel and black one. Got a white and silver one. And then there's also a black and gold one here, or black and brass. I do quite like the black and brass combo. And finally, we have the Verdi here. This one, this one's probably one of my least favorites. I don't necessarily hate it. It's just not really my favorite. Not my cup of tea. Anyways, next year we've just got a little Fandelier. And then we've got the back cover. Well, that is it for this video. Now, while I definitely knocked Kitcher quite a bit in this video... As of right now, they still haven't done enough for me to totally hate them yet. Uh, I haven't seen what they've done for 2022 yet. It could be something exciting, because like I said, I am recording this in December of 2021. But yeah, I sure, um, well, this might have been a disappointment. I sure hope they can make a comeback from it. Well, not necessarily. I like. I don't know how their sales figures are. That's not really my business. But all I know is that around here, we're not too happy with what's going on so yeah let's just hope that we can find some some new and exciting stuff next year huh yeah i'm sure that by now we'll, we'll know what's going on by the time you guys are watching this but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'm sure there'll be some other catalog some sometime soon so yeah i'll see you whenever that is goodbye